section can be found between the following names. Blaise Pascal, Antoine Lewandowski, Benjamin Franklin, Louis Braille, and Thomas Alva Edison. All of them were young inventors. Pascal invented the mechanical editing machine at the age of 19. Antoine Lewandowski was only 16 when he worked on the improvement of microscopes. 15-year-old Benjamin Franklin was the establisher of newspaper who delivered it by day and wrote articles for it at night. Thomas Alva Edison was of the same age when he worked on the telegraphic repeating instruments. Have you ever heard of the form of writing and reading for blind people? Louis Braille was the one who invented this ingenious system at the age of 15. Also, pre-recorded TED Talk, which you have already seen, is a great example for young inventors. I think a lot of you have already guessed my point, but this next, I want to point out how much our generation can create, change, or improve. So a lot of you might think that inventing requires talent, but all of us discover something new throughout our lives. Challenge is how we deliver to the community. For example, self-taught painters, composers, or writers who tend to keep their talent for themselves would already be called inventors if they started sharing their compositions to the audience. Nowadays, there are hundreds of organizations which try to enroll school and university students in inventing and discovering processes, and most of them are quite successful. If any of you think that you have plenty of time for doing things later in life, I'm sorry to inform you, but you're mistaken. Because at the age of 50, 20, you already realize that you have spent all your time doing nonsense, and that you have slept so much to do that you put some house stuff. You don't know where to start or how to begin. But you're not too young, because Chris has this nine-year-old boy invented basketball that could teach players where to put their hands while shooting. Imagine just nine years. So often several people will invent the same thing at the same time. Why? Because something already existed that inspired inventors. For example, internet inspired many inventors to come up with the idea of social media sites. And Facebook and Twitter are two great examples of things that exist because of internet. So how to start thinking about something innovative? Inventors are mainly affected by the things that are not working properly. So think about something that annoys you and you doubt if you could improve the old material and replace it by new. Then you could find out what the problem is and what is uh, the thing that creates discomfort for you. You could do research and think about different methods. And you could ask for help or advice from someone who's familiar with the method. And in the end, you should create and follow the plan. Finally, you will stay surprised of how enjoyable and easy it was, and you will feel proud of yourself that you have gone so far and that you have done something that could change the world for someone. And in the first place, that someone will be you. Thanks for your attention.